I was trained in public speaking and I was trained to have to memorize the whole script. And so I would just get so nervous. I would be so focusing on what I was supposed to say rather than being present Mm -hmm. in the moment. And I still think a lot of people train that way. I think there are very few times in our lives where we feel like somebody is actually there with us in the moment listening to us. And because of that, we feel the pressure to have to just fire hose because we feel that timer counting down. And when you feel that pressure, you don't even know what's coming out of your mouth. You're just trying to get them to know everything about you. Instead of just being present in the conversation, you can tell when somebody is present in a conversation with you. You can tell when they're more focused on asking you questions. Oh, I have a perfect example. So I was at a meeting in Boston last week, and there were a group of us around the table, some in-house individuals from various teams and then consultants that are helping with the PR launch. They're helping with marketing and ads and messaging. Of course, we need to know who's there. So we go around the table and it's like, all right, share who you are, what you work on. And then I think the icebreaker was the first job that you've ever had. So it's like first person, boop, boop, boop. Second person goes around, right? I get to myself, I crack a joke, some self-deprecating humor like I do. And then the person after me, he starts with the, well, my first job was and then we're five minutes in and then he's going off just about all the things he's done and the last Mm -hmm. person around the table went on for 15 minutes and I could just tell he just didn't know where to stop and he was so unaware of what was happening because he was so stuck in his head about describing literally from his first job to now he's 57 every single position so I guess moral of that story is the best way to get people interested in you is to ask them about them. 